Welcome to TNT Outdoors. Today we're testing deer cane enriched black magic mineral site activator. Well, they claim pour this stuff out and it's gonna start you a mineral site and just deer gonna come from all over. Well, I don't know if they claim that, but they do claim this will attract deer to start a mineral site. So let's test it out. Let's see if it works. I've used this before, but mostly around base sites. So I wanted to try it. Here. This is not a bait site. This is not a place, you know, deer are already patterned to come into. So let's pour it here and see if we can get new activity right to this site. And I'll test this out, see if it actually works. So let's shake it up a little bit. I'm going to open her up here. All right. Mmm, smells good. It smells real sweet. It actually smells, uh, Smells like molasses. Maybe that's just what it is. I don't know. Maybe it's just molasses. I don't know. Yeah, smells like molasses. Nice and sweet. I've already kind of cleared the site here. I swept out all the pine needles and stuff, and I said to kind of clear the site, expose the ground, and just pour it on. We also did another site actually in my feeder pad. Poured some out there, and we're going to test it there too, see if it works. But that was already, you know, an active deer site. There's been a feeder there for almost a year now. So, Deer were already coming there, so I don't know if this was bringing them in. Probably not. They were coming for the corn. So I really am enthused and excited about this site. This will be the true test. If we can get deer coming and hitting this site, then we know it's because of this and not because of some other bait. Here we go. Let's pour it out. Pour a little bit out here. I don't know. I'm just going to kind of make a little area here. Okay, so we got it all poured out. I'm gonna fire up a game camera on it so we can monitor it 24 hours a day till we come back and check the site. And that's what we're gonna do. Deer cane, black magic enriched mineral site activator. Does it work? We're gonna find out.
Well, welcome back to our test of the Deer Cane Black Magic Mineral Sight Activator. We've had this test running for a little over a month, about a month and a half so far. And got some interesting results. Does it work? Well, let's see. As you saw, we originally put this out and then I came back to pull the trail camera a week later after putting this out. And quite frankly, I was not impressed. A couple of deer uh, that I've seen in the area already um, on other trail cameras at other places pretty close to here. So I wasn't impressed to say the least. And quite frankly, I thought this was a big old dud. So after that first week, I let the cameras go a couple more weeks and I came back in again to change out the SD card. And when I previewed the site, it was not disturbed. There was more pine needles that had fallen down and it didn't look any different than the two weeks prior when I pulled the first camera chip. So quite frankly, I just was not enthused. I figured I'm gonna be trashing this. I'm gonna be saying it's a dud, it's no good and tell people to stay away from it. So I wasn't super excited and quite frankly, I didn't check the SD card. <laughs> I had switched it out and another couple weeks go by and I pulled that chip and then about a week or so later, I was coming to do this video right here, the wrap up video, tell you what I think about it. And so I was like, well, let me preview the rest of them, just make sure what I thought, you know, just confirm what I already think. And so I went through the last four weeks and it took a long time because there was so much footage. There were so many clips, a different deer, new deer I hadn't seen before. You know, we got all kinds of activity. We got raccoons, we got hogs. They kind of like this stuff. Now they don't tear it up like they do other bait, which is interesting. And they're not super hitting it like hogs normally do. They'll come in, they'll nibble a little bit, check it out, and then kind of be on their way. They don't just destroy the site here like they do with other bait sites. So that's kind of interesting. But for our area, for the amount of deer that we've seen in the last year or so on the property, we had a fair amount of activity for a site like this. You know, other areas, they may have a lot more deer. It may not look like a lot to them, but to me, what we had here was actually a lot. So I was super excited. And actually, I was coming out here on a Saturday for a couple of days, and I was previewing this footage at home on the computer the Friday night before coming out here on a Saturday. I was gonna leave Saturday morning. I got so excited, I was like, oh my gosh, like, this really seems to be working. So, on my way out Saturday morning, I had to pick up another jug. You know, I was not sold on this. I thought it was no good. But after seeing that, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put some more down. I got reactivated. So, that's what I'm gonna be doing today. And so here's kind of my thoughts on it. It claims to be a powerful attractant. And I'm not so sure that's true. I, don't, I wouldn't necessarily call it an attractant per se. Because during that first week, I did not attract a bunch of deer. Now a couple deer did find it. And once they found it, they started coming again pretty regular. And then some more game found it. Some more deer found it. And now they're coming back pretty regular. So what I think is happening is once they find it, they like it. And so they'll keep coming back for more. So that activity, I think, is what's attracting more and different deer. And so it's just kind of an accumulation effect. The more deer we get, the more that activity is gonna attract more potentially. So would I call it an attractant? No, I don't think I'd call it an attractant. I think the mineral side, I think once they do find it, they like it, they like those minerals. And you know, you'll see them. They're actually kind of nibbling down here on the dirt. They're actually eating it. It's kind of interesting, you know, it's kind of uh, a little surprising to me, you know, <laughs> they're just down here nibbling on the dirt because I poured this liquid on it. It's kind of cool, actually. And what's interesting is we got a lot of different activity, not just deer, not just hogs. You know, we got some turkeys coming in. We don't have a lot of turkeys on the property here. So to see turkeys is, you know, it's kind of a neat thing to see turkeys on the trail cameras. And we even got some coyote footage. I mean, look at what this coyote's doing here. That's so rude. He's such a jerk. <laughs> Anyways, but you know what? The deer didn't care. They kept coming to this side after that. You know, they just still kept coming. Even after he did that right in the middle of it, they didn't care. And we got a really big rainstorm. I mean, look right here. You can see the rain just pouring down. And then even after that storm, they hit the site, you know, just as hard as they did before. So it didn't completely wash it out, completely wash it away. So, you know, it survives the rain. Uh, that's interesting to know. That's good to know. I'm just really surprisingly impressed with this stuff, you know, especially after that first week. I was just like, oh, what a waste of money. This stuff is junk. You know, it's worthless. You know, I was just getting ready to get on here and just tell people, please don't waste your money. So I'm actually excited about it. Now, is it just that it's the right time of year? I don't know. We're going to keep checking that. Is it 
this area, you know, they particularly like it. I don't know. Maybe it won't work as good in other areas. But either way, for me, during this time of year, we're in East Texas. It's the late summer and they're still hitting the site. So for us, this seemed to work really well. You know, we're going to freshen it up, keep it going and see if it continues. You know, I really want to keep, especially, you know, we got a lot of doe activity here. I want to keep these does coming in. I mean, look at what this girl's doing right here. Do you know how much money I'm going to be paying for that in November, early part of December? And this is about as fresh as you're going to get. And it's straight from the source. I mean, seriously, that's like liquid gold falling right there, not too far from where my blind's at over here. That's awesome. I want her to come back and do that when she's an estrus. So we're going to keep this site going, and maybe she'll do that. So uh, please, bring some more of that in, honey. Let's go. <laughs> so I'm impressed, you know? So impressed that I bought more, and I'm going to put more out. <laughs> we're just going to keep this site going. Now, what I've heard before is that mineral sites are actually only really good during the summer months, and that's when the deer really need those extra minerals, extra nutrients that you might find in something like this, you know, that where they're really craving that is during those hot summer months. I don't know that for sure, so I'm just going to keep this site going now, and we'll see. Is the activity going to continue? Is it going to stop? Um, as it gets colder, you know, we get more into, like, closer to winter, and in wintertime, will they continue to use this site or not? You know, I'm curious to see. So I'm just going to kind of keep this going here, you know, and uh, probably leave updates maybe either in the comments or I'll update the description below. So if you're watching this in December, January, you know, or a year from now, maybe check the description. Maybe there's some updates in there um, where I can say, you know, yeah, they're still hitting it. It's cold out and they're still coming or, nope, it's dried up. You know, they're not interested anymore. You know, I'm kind of curious to see. So I'm going to keep this going with a black magic mineral side attractant by Deep Cane. So I would not pick this up expecting to dump it out and you know that day or that weekend even, you know, you're gonna get something hitting it right away. Like it's a powerful attractant, instant success. You know, hardly anything's like that anyways. But this definitely, I don't feel like is a short-term attractant, you know, a short-term gain situation. I think what this is, is you put it out and it takes time. It takes time for it to develop. You know, one or two deer gotta find it. They gotta start hitting it regular. Well, they're developing a pattern and other deer are noticing, hey, what's going on over there? Let me go check that out. And then they come and they're like, oh, something good here, you know, and they keep coming back. And it's again, a cumulative effect. So that's what I think this potentially does. At least that's what I saw during our test here. It's not an instant short-term attractant, you know, that's gonna bring them in right away, but it's kind of an overtime, maybe developing a site that's gonna bring them in, maybe even keep them here in your area a little bit longer, you know, as they're hanging out, getting a few, you know, minerals here. So that's really cool. And so as long as you know that going in and, you know, you don't put it out and then don't see nothing that first weekend, the first. Sorry about that. <laughs> I don't know if the camera picked up that noise or not, but while I was recording, I just heard this crashing through the woods. <laughs> I didn't see what it was. But needless to say, I had to jump up and check it out. <laughs> so, sitting in a site where we've gotten so much activity recently, you know, it can be a little nerve-wracking out here all by yourself. So, you know, especially with the coyotes and bobcats and the amount of hog activity we got, you know. Kneeling down here on the ground, you feel a little vulnerable. So anyway, so that was a little funny. All right, so we got a little bit of an outtake in the middle of a video. Eh? So, here we go. Anyways, what were we talking about? I don't even remember now. So the stuff's pretty good. I'm gonna keep using it. That pretty much sums it up. <laughs> so I'll see if I can find a link online. Um, if you wanna research this some more where you can find it or maybe even be able to purchase it. Uh, if I can find a link like that, I'll put it in the description box below. Me? So far, I've just bought a couple of these from Cabela's, not too far from my house. That's where I found them. You can probably find them at most, you know, hunting outdoors for it. Anyways, I'll put a link for your convenience if you want to check it out. We're going to go ahead and refresh in our side up here and pour a little bit more out. And then we're going to sneak on out of here, let whatever was crashing through the woods here back at their site, if that's where they were trying to go. <laughs> we'll sneak out of their home, man. Well, thank you for watching today. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you like this video, please hit that like button down below. And if you're not a subscriber already and you like the video, I hope you'll consider subscribing. 
because if you like this video, you might like more of our videos. Well, either way, thank you for watching this video and have a great day.